Hey there, friend. So um, the question that I want to ask you is, is there anything that's really, really free? What do you think? Is there such thing as a free lunch or something that's really free? Well, I think I want to tell you that there's nothing really that is free. Free cost someone something. So in order for you to have it free, someone has to pay for it. If you think about it, um, even history tells us that so many, our freedom came with a cost. Our um, voting came with a cost. Uh, someone had to pay the price or sacrifice. Um, think about even if you go to an event, someone had to spend some time and um, money or however put the event together for you to come and enjoy. So your freedom, your enjoyment, your benefit um, was costly to someone. Um, even when we go to school, right, it's, there's a cost associated with that. Uh, the end result, there's hard work, there's time, and, and a lot of sacrifice, even just to get a degree. So there's so many things in life that <clears throat> come with a price. So nothing is really free. In my opinion because your freedom is costly to someone so I don't think that we should take things for granted it just uh, makes me realize that we should have more of an attitude of gratitude about the things that we um, get free you know we should appreciate the things that even come quote free to us I remember a song uh, years ago it's called the best things in life are free and and it's it's partly true the things like relationships, family, friends, and those things, um, you know, having a child. So there's so many little life's pleasures that are free, freely given to us. And we should not um, take those things for granted. Those things are really so meaningful and so impactful. And a lot of the time, I think it's true, the best things in life are free. However, for us to have uh, those enjoyment, those uh, experiences, those freedom, those things, uh, there is usually a cost uh, to someone. I think about the fact that even the life that I'm living now, our lives, the freedoms that we have, the the things that we are able to benefit from. Think about our grandparents, the prayers that they prayed and how they lived their lives, you know, praying for their children and their children's children. We are reaping the benefits of their prayers, of their uh, toils and labor etc. So what am I saying? I'm saying that we shouldn't take things for granted. I, I'm saying that it, just because something comes free to us does not mean that there was not a cost associated with it. So we ought to live a life um, of gratitude, not taking things for granted, thanking God for every little things, value things, value your time, value the people in your life, value the things that are given to you freely. And it just reminds me the fact that you know, salvation is free, but it costs Jesus everything. It costs him his life. It costs him uh, torture and pain and misery and all the gory death on the cross. But if he didn't do, do it, we would have been lost and without a hope. So it cost him his life. It cost him everything. He did it for us. He did it because he loves us so much. So, um... So let's not take it for granted the cost um, of our freedom, <clears throat> the fact that we can enjoy things. Um, let's not take it for granted. Let's not take uh, the goodness of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God for granted because it, it came to us at a high cost. So let's live our life just um, being full of gratitude, waking up every day, Thanking God that we get to live, we get to uh, live this life that God has given us to live it more abundantly is freely given to us. So, free cost. Uh, it costs someone somewhere, something. And let's um, appreciate it. Let's not take it for granted. Live it our life to the fully, fullest for the glory of God and with gratitude each day. All right. That's my encouragement for you and I today. Until next time, bye.